Hi, thank you for joining me today. My name is JC and I'm here to help you with your English. I'll be working on something we call homophones and this will be a series of videos and today we'll be working on six groups of homino homophones. So let's get started. I'd just like to remind you for this activity, I would like you to close the closed caption um, component on your YouTube. This way you'll really have to try the activity yourself. Okay, I will give you the answers at the very end of the activity. All right? Group one, I'd like you to write these three words. They're pronounced there. Now I will give you three sentences, A, B, and C, and you write either A, B, or C in front of the word that you think it is. Ready? A. Their house burned down last night. Their house burned down last night. B. There are several apple trees in my yard. There are several apple trees in my yard. C. They're always late for work on Monday. They're always late for work on Monday. Group two. Write these two words. They're pronounced it's. A. It's always sunny in California. It's always sunny in California. B. The cat hurt its paw. The cat hurt its paw. Three. Write these two words. They're pronounced your. A. You're an excellent student. You're an excellent student. B. Your friend is a wonderful cook. Your friend is a wonderful cook. Group four. These two words are pronounced sun. A. The sun rises in the east. The sun rises in the east. B. My son lives in Nova Scotia. My son lives in Nova Scotia. Five. These two words are pronounced here. A. Will you come here, please? Will you come here, please? B. Can you hear a dog barking? Can you hear a dog barking? Group six. These two words are pronounced C. A. I can see the forest from my balcony. I can see the forest from my balcony. B. We love the cool sea breezes in Nova Scotia. We love the cool sea breezes in Nova Scotia. Okay, so let's go back and check and see how you did. I'll give you the answers. Ready? Number one. A. Their house burned down last night. T-H-E-I-R. That is the possessive adjective. B. There are several apple trees in my yard. T-H-E-R-E. -E, that's a pronoun. C. They're always late for work on Monday. There, T-H-E-Y apostrophe R-E, and that is the contraction of the verb to be, they are. Number two, it's always sunny in California. I-T apostrophe S, because it is, it is the contracted form of the verb to be. And B, the cat hurt its paw, I-T-S, the possessive adjective. Now, it's is a big problem for English speakers, when, especially when you're looking at things like emails and Facebook uh, posts, things like that. People are making that error all the time, all the time. So we have to be careful. Uh, number three, A, you're an excellent student. You're, Y-O-U apostrophe R-E. So that's the contracted form of you are. And B, your friend is a wonderful cook. We want the possessive adjective Y-O-U-R. Uh, number four, the sun rises in the east. 
S-U-N, and B, my son lives in Nova Scotia, S-O-N. And number five, A, will you come here, please, H-E-R-E, and B, can you hear a dog barking, can you hear, H-E-A-R. And number six, I can see the forest from my balcony, I can see with my eyes, S-E-E, and B, we love the cool sea breezes in Nova Scotia, S-E-A, ocean. Okay, so add them all up. Did you get 13 out of 13? All of them correct? Maybe you got 10, maybe you got a little bit less. But they really weren't that hard unless you are a beginner. So I will see you the next time. We'll be doing part B and I hope you have a great day and remember to practice your English a little bit every day. Okay, see you and bye-bye.